Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Today we're going to be reviewing this two-person tent. Uh, I have spent weeks looking for just the right tent. Pretty high quality materials. You know the feeling when you open something and it just feels cheap. Well, this is definitely not the case. Now this is a very lightweight tent. Um, the total package is about five something pounds, so 5.2 I believe. Um, and you can verify all these uh, weights, and I'll give some measurements here as well. Um, if you click on that link down there, uh, you'll be taken to the, uh, the description page. Here's a look at the tent poles. They are aluminum and have a nice, classy orange finish to them. And here are the tent stakes. Um, pretty high quality aluminum. Uh, nothing fancy, but definitely looks like they can dig into the dirt there. And um, they're, they're pretty sturdy. They don't bend. They're, they're thick enough. Now here is the tent laid out. You can see it's rectangular in shape. The exact dimensions are 86 inches long and 48 inches wide. Now if we take a look at the ends, you can see it's got, they've got these plastic clips and then little metal holes. Um, the plastic clips are for you to attach the rain fly and we'll put that on at the end of the video here. Um, oh, there's a look at the zipper real quick. Um, and we'll actually unzip it together once we get the tent up here. Let's just do a little visual inspection, make sure everything is good before we put the poles up. Now we're gonna assemble the poles. Now check this out. Watch how quickly these poles suck together. Do you see that? Uh, this is a great feature about the poles, the, the elastic inside. It's almost as if it's magnetized. The elastic inside is taut and tight and keeps so incredibly waterproof. I'm really happy with the quality of it. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Thank you so much. So today we're doing a gear review of the Mir, M-I-E-R, two-person trekking pole tent. Two-person design, it's good for head-to-toe layout. I'm trying to remember, I think it's polyurethane coated nylon. It's got a grid stop pattern in the fabric, still nylon or not. You check the specs online, I'll try to post those up. Pull out so you can extend your headroom a little bit. And yeah, it's just got a regular line lock on it. And you got your tensioner down here for adjusting your length too. And you get your little tie-off loop. And then on the corners, pull out on this. You've got like a little loop here, but on the bottom part you got a little loop. That's why I tensioned a little tight, but it comes with some stakes. I'd upgrade them to MSR groundhogs if I were you. These ones, I was putting them in with my foot last night, and ground was hard, and bent a couple of them. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do a little hammering on them in the morning. But uh, yeah, you get the uh, shock cord. It pretty much wraps up my review of the Mir slash Lane Shan 2 uh, two-person trekking pole tent. Uh, about two pounds, three ounces, two pounds, ten ounces, somewhere in that range. Um, a little over two pounds, I guess. Uh, I'll pull the specs online. I'll let you see those. And... Uh, Pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the... Are you looking for a tent to go out backpacking this season? Well, today we're going to take a look at a tent from Nature Hike. It's called the Cloud Up 2. It's an upgraded edition. I'll show you what that means. So stay tuned and we'll check out this quality budget-friendly tent. Looking at the dimensions, it's 15 and a half inches folded up by five inches. Okay, so pretty compact. It's actually built, it's about 49 by 82 and a half by 39. That gives you some rough dimensions and we'll take a look at it here in a second. As far as material goes, it is made out of a 20D sill nylon, very high quality feeling sill nylon. The poles themselves are a fairly lightweight aluminum. Uh, it's a double-sided Y shape. That's the improved or updated version of this. The original version of the Cloud Up 2 had one Y only in the front. This one has two Ys also in the back. You'll see that when we put it up. Now, as far as what the tent comes with, it actually comes with a separate ground sheet. Okay, That adds weight, but it does add some to the security because you do want to make sure you don't put it on the ground without taking all the stickies up because you could poke into that 20D nylon pretty easily. The actual stuff sack for the tent itself comes with the poles, comes with stakes, comes with eight stakes and a little bit of extra line so you can uh, stake it down really well in the wind. It also of course comes with the fly and the tent itself, the tent body. 
Now I'll put some of the specific, specific weights over here. I'm just going to give you all some generalities on the weights, the way I look at it. The body of the tent itself is a little bit under a pound. Okay. It's about 15 ounces, something around those lines. The fly itself is about one pound, about 16 ounces. The poles are fairly heavy as well. Those are about one pound, about 16 ounces as well. That gives you about three pounds roughly. Okay. Then you're looking at the stakes themselves. Thanks for watching. Today on this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, this is One Tigress Cosmito Tent. This is all about the setup process. How easy, how complex is it? Today we will answer that question together. I will go through the entire setup process step by step and I'll show you how it's done. Everyone, let's get to it. Knowing the setup process before purchasing a tent is very important information to have and that's what this series is all about. To start off, use a ground sheet if you want to. I like to. This protects the tent. Now, the purpose of a ground sheet is very simple. It keeps the bottom protected and it also keeps it clean. It does not keep it dry. That's a misconception. So go ahead, take your ground sheet, lay it down on the ground. With the ground sheet in place, go ahead and separate the components of the tent. You have your tent stakes here, you have your tent poles, you have the fly, and you have the tent body. Unfold the tent body and get it into place with the orientation that you like. Now, go ahead, grab four tent stakes and stake out. Now folks, go ahead and put the poles together. There are three poles, two long ones and a shorty. Take the shorty pole and just put this to the side because right now we will focus on the long poles. With the tent poles, my friend. So folks, take care, strength and honor. Talk to you soon. Welcome back to the shop. This week we're going to be covering the Kelty Grand Mesa two-person tent. This tent is a backpacking tent and I got pretty lucky in terms of when I bought it because I knew very, very little about tents at all. I did minimal research. I was headed out on a trip and I went to a local store and just bought whatever they had in stock and it just happened to be this Kelty Grand Mesa two-person tent. However, having the tent now for three years and having taken it across four different motorcycles and various trips, I've been extremely, extremely pleased with this tent. If you are in a situation where you're on a motorcycle or you're backpacking, I think the small compact nature of this tent is one of the key benefits. It's extremely lightweight. On the motorcycle, it compacts down to a very small size, which then leaves me a lot of room in the saddlebags for other camping gear and video equipment that I usually take with me. The tent basically consists of a base layer as well as the rain fly and then the poles and tent stakes. So it's a really, really simple setup. I will say that they call this a two person tent. I don't know. So overall with this tent, I've just had a really good experience with it. I've used it a lot. I've taken it on a lot of trips with me and it's served me really well. Until next time, take care, and in this case, camp safe.